So around 3 months ago, I made and released a simulator game in a week. What the fuck? And it turned out pretty good, so I was like, duh, let's do this again, but this time a PvP game. Yeah, <laughs> boy. I haven't made a PvP game before, but I mean, it's just guns. So it shouldn't be that hard. Right? And that's when I realized that I'm a dumb piece of shit and I have no idea how to make a PvP game. <sighs> if I say PvP one more time, I swear I will. So first things first, I made this gun looking kind of thing. After importing the gun into studio, I added some particles and then I made some animations, wrote some code and with that we have a basic gun system. And since I want to make this game a fast paced shooter, we need to add some movement. So first I made this sliding and climbing animation. Then I made this map where we can test some stuff out. And then I did some of this thing. And this is how the movement looks like so far. We can slide around and grab the ledges and climb up and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Next I made these damage indicators. And then I made the shop UI where we can switch the guns. The problem with the game right now is that we can shoot the gun infinitely. So I added this ammo UI, added some recoil. Well, that was a bit weird. And I also added these jump pads around the map. For now, how the shop works is you unlock guns by having more kills. Okay, so the game right now has a major problem, which is that the game doesn't really have any kind of gameplay. So I was like, duh, let's add some game modes. What could possibly go wrong? So I usually black out during coding, so I can't really tell what I did here. But we got the team that match and the team selection working, which is pretty cool, I guess. The next game mode I want to add is Capture the Point. And if you don't know what Capture the Point is, then it's basically just capturing a point. Yeah, you're welcome. So first I made this flag model, made some icons for the different points, and then I added this ring around the flags, and with that we can now capture the points. And with two game was done, I started making the first map which will be like an ancient temple. So first I blocked out the map, then I made some models. And I started decorating the map. And after some time, this is how it turned out. After that I added this game notification and then I added another game mode which is called Capture the Flag. The point of Capture the Flag is that both teams have a flag at their base and if the enemy steals the flag and returns it to their base then they get one point. And with 3 game modes done it was time to test the game with you guys from the discord server. If you are not already in the discord server then what the f*** are you doing man? Just join, the link will be in the description. Anyways, we played the game for like 20 minutes and my conclusion was that the game is pretty bad. So first, let's start by making some new gun models because the one right now looks like this. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? So after spending a bit more time that I would like to admit, we got some new gun models and a stick. Anyways, after that I added some UIs and I also remade the shop UI. So now you can see the images of the guns. Which is pretty cool. As of now we have 4 gun types, the pistol which just shoots regularly, nothing special, the SMG which shoots bullets faster but it deals less damage, the shotgun which shoots at a close range, deals a lot of damage and it also gives you a knockback, and the rifle which shoots slower than the SMG but it deals a lot more damage. Next I added these start barriers for both teams, these barriers will open after like 30 seconds when the round starts. The next thing to do is to make an actual shop model because the one right now, if you look really closely, is just a cube. Which doesn't really look like any kind of shop to me. So I hopped into Blender and I made this medieval merchant thing. And to be honest, it looks really good actually. But what does CSGO has that this game doesn't? Well, everything, but mainly it's knives. Or more especially melee weapons. 
So I made this shovel model, then I made some animations, and there you go, a melee weapon. This will one hit enemies, but hitting someone with this needs some precision, so it's only for the pros out there. And so after all these changes we did another testing and the game already felt much better. So the only thing left to do is to polish the game up a bit and make some new maps. So first things first, let's start by making a brand new map, but I don't really have any ideas, so I will leave this map up to you guys. So let's take a look at the idea... A ship? What the f***? Anyways, I threw together these models. These didn't take me like 4 hours to make. After importing them into studio, I added some decorations to the ship, and then I started building the map. And to my surprise, it actually turned out pretty good. But don't jump in the water, cause uh, uh... Anyways, I added this level bar, so now you will get XP after every kill and win. And after every level, you will unlock a new gun. After that, I made 3 more knives, and then I started working on the third map, which will be a futuristic map with some portals and such. So first I blocked out the map, then I gave the walls some textures, added some portals, jump pads, and some lightning. And I mean look at that, Mwah. perfect. I also did this effect when using the portals. After that I added camera sway, but be careful cause this shit can make you motion sick. Next I remade the ammo UI, so now the text is floating next to the gun. Ok so the game is coming along pretty well, but we still need some things, so let's start by making a game icon. So first I made this rendered picture of this pistol and then I hopped into Photopea and I managed to make this. I know, pretty original. Ok so we need to add some sort of way to regenerate health, because right now you can't really do that. So I made this spawner thing and if you go and touch it then it will give you 75 health. After that I wrote a description for the game, made some thumbnails and then I wrote some more f description for the game. And with that the game is finished. For one week I think it turned out pretty cool. If you have any ideas or suggestions for the game then let me know in the comments or in the discord server. Also, if this video will get at least 500 likes then I will make an update for the game. But anyways, make sure to like and subscribe, bye.